Hi, I'm here to show you how to make the cheapest possible gauge to measure camber on your vehicle. So, most of the camber gauges are magnetic and they stick to the rotor of your disc brakes. In this case, uh, I wasn't able to get one anywhere near me and I wanted to drive my car the next day. So what I needed was a accurate angle or an accurate level gauge and some means to attach it to the rotor of the car. So I found a free app uh, for an iPhone called uh, Easy Level and it gives measurements within a tenth of a degree. So after that, I built this cheap, free plywood device with these two arms that stick out, in my case, approximately three inches. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be exact, and I'll show you why. And then uh, we attached the phone to the plywood and set the zero on it. So to figure out, find something, to set the zero, find something level, you see this is it's within two tenths we move the phone around one tenth so here we have the phone tie wrapped to the device and as you see uh, uh, we can it, right now it doesn't matter where the phone is uh, in terms of getting the angle correct so what we do is we put it on our level surface and we adjust it until we get as close to zero as we can this is much easier with a with a second person. So once you have it adjusted to where you want it, within a few tenths, then what I did was is I I used uh, just masking tape and mask uh, taped it at both ends. So that's that's how you get it and I'll show you how you use it on the car here next. First thing you need to do is you need to figure out uh, if your floor that you're going to park the car on to measure it is level or not. In my case I used a, a four foot level uh, and circled the areas where my tires are going to be. You see one circle over here and another circle right here and uh, I found out that my garage floor is one degree off and uh, so just make sure you uh, you know which way that it's off. In my case uh, this side on this side was uh, one degree higher than the other one. So you have to account for that in your calculations when you go to actually uh, measure your camber. So with this tool, you fit it in here and you make sure that the uh, contact points are against the rotor. You can see there's the rotor. And uh, down here it's maybe a little harder to see, but it's, uh, it still fits within the rotor. When you hold it level, then you can read directly off the gauge making sure that you uh, took into account any error in the in the flooring and in my case uh, you know right now it's showing right at uh, 0 0.6 negative which is correct for this car just make sure you get your uh, negative and positive right in uh, how it's supposed to work with the uh, actual negative and positive camera of the car the readout on the angle gauge may not be the same convention for negative and positive. And so that's it. I can't uh, come up with a cheaper or easier way to do this. In my case, uh, I had to cut my plywood a little bit to fit the right size and just use some scrap stock here. And uh, you could glue it or screw it. Uh, I just stuck it on with the brad nailer I happen to have handy. Good luck.